Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about farmhouse DIYs, all on a budget. Basically all these DIYs I'm gonna be doing for you is an inspiration and I use all Dollar Tree products mostly. I think there's maybe a little bit here and there from another store. So the first one I'm gonna be using a Dollar Tree wood round that I used in a previous DIY. And I'm gonna be using Dollar Tree contact paper. I'm gonna be using this washi tape because the middle I'm gonna be painting with the antique wax. All right, I'm gonna start off by using the white Waverly chalk paint and I'm gonna paint the top part of that with that color. Also the bottom because I'm gonna be placing down the contact paper. I'm gonna be using antique wax for the middle part. Once I apply the paint, I'm gonna take a baby wipe and just wipe it down. Now I'm gonna remove the tape. So I'm placing the washi tape back down because I wanna create two little black lines, one at the top, one below the antique wax. I don't know what happened to the footage, but my, I think my camera died, but this is how it turned out. So now I'm gonna place the welcome uh, vinyl that I created on my Cricut right in the middle where the antique wax color is. So I picked up this contact paper from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be using it. And I'm just gonna place it to the bottom of the wood round and just get an idea of how much I have to cut. So I'm just gonna place my finger on the edges to create a crease and then I will cut. I also had some craft paper with a similar print, but I thought using the craft paper, um, the craft paper, the <laughs> contact paper would be a lot easier. You don't have to mess with any Mod Podge or anything like that. So now I'm just going to take the back sticky part off and then place it in the corner. And then this makes it easier to place it on the wood round this way. It's nice and even. Then I'm going to scrape it with one of my scrapers to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. So I'm going around the edges with my scissors and just clean up the edges. Ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to create a pretty bow to place at the top. So how I normally make it is I take a couple strips of the ribbon, probably around 10 inches, and I do three, and then I do a tail, and then I do a smaller piece, about three inches, for the front of the bow. And I just tie them all together. I us usually use um, flower wire or sometimes just jute twine. So to keep them in place, I'm just going to hot glue the ends and all three are going to get hot glued together and then just pinch them together and twist them with the wire. And that's basically it. The bow's all done. I'm just going to hot glue it right to the front. And I do create a little hanger by using jute twine and just hot glue it to the back. So I'm just ducktailing the ends of the bow. I think this came out so pretty. I also added just a little bit of um, some greenery around the bow area at the end. And that is it. I think this came out pretty. What do you guys think? For this DIY, I took some foam board from Dollar Tree and just printed out a cow head and traced it onto the foam board and cut it out. Now I'm going to start painting the cow. I'm going to start off with the tan color. This was Pinterest inspired and they used real wood. I don't have real wood that's shaped like a cow. So I compensated. I used the foam board from Dollar Tree because we're going to make budget friendly DIYs. And in the end, you can't even tell it's foam board. 
Now I'm going to take the black chalkboard paint that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint the remaining part of the cow with this color. Alright, so I'm going to take the sign I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove the beach emblem and um, I'm going to save it for another DIY. Now I'm going to paint the outer edges of the frame with the Dollar Tree black chalkboard paint. Now because you can see the edges of the foam board, I'm going to take some jute twine. I'm just going to hot glue it around the edges of the cowl to hide the foam board. And that's how it looks so far. I mean, it looks good with the jute twine. Now I'm just going to take my marker and just uh, make his little nostrils. <laughs> So I'm going to take this uh, craft paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place it inside the frame. So I'm just going to cut it out and place it down on the frame using the craft uh, boost stick. Now I'm going to take the cow and I'm going to place it down on the craft paper by using the hot glue gun. I'm going to take a couple pieces of this boxwood pick and I'm going to place it right on the cow's ear, placing down some glue. Now I'm going to be using some of this cow print material that I got back, I think last year at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a couple pieces and hot glue it right on top of the boxwood. I'm also going to be using some raffia. I'm going to bunch it up like a bow and then hot glue it right above the little cow print. Now I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree little chalkboard and I glued jute twine behind it and I'm just going to take a thumbtack, place it in his ear like a cow tag and I'm going to write in with the white marker, hey y'all. I'm not really thrilled about my handwriting but I thought this would look very authentic and I think it really looks cute. I think this came out so adorable, so different, and you can't even tell it's foam board. And this is how it turned out. All right, next DIY, I took this Dollar Tree chicken that I used in a previous DIY, and I'm going to be using this craft paper that I got at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to trace the chicken on the craft paper. So we're going to make a door hanger, a chicken door hanger, like farmhouse style, and it comes out really cute. So now that I cut it out, I'm just going to place it over the chicken using some Mod Podge.
So I'm just going to place the craft paper right over the chicken. This craft paper, I love it. It reminds me back in the 50s, 60s, like that type of style. But it's so rustic, farmhouse-ish. <laughs> so now I'm going to have to um, put some Mod Podge over the top, let it dry. Once it dries, I'm going to take a sanding block and just clear the edges so this way it's nice and clean. All right, so it's dried now. I already put my Mod Podge over the top and sanded it down with the sanding block. Looks nice. Now I'm gonna take this gingham uh, red ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna create a little tiny bow. Now I'm just cutting the ribbon, just giving it some pointers, and then I'm going to place it on the chicken using my hot glue gun. Look how cute it came out. It's so stinking adorable. Now I want to create a hanger, but I'm not going to do a traditional hanger like with the jute twine. I'm going to use a floral wire, and I'm just going to place a piece, hot glue it to the back, and that is it. This is like 1950s, 60s style farmhouse. And I'm going to show you what it looks like on my front door and also on the wall. You have a choice if you want it on your door or on your wall. I mean, it's really quick and easy to make and it comes out so stinking cute. And here's how it turned out. Okay, for this uh, DIY, I'm going to take Dollar Tree egg sign that I got from Easter time, and I'm just going to paint it with the white We Really Chalk paint. Now I'm going to paint this. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's one of their uh, little tin pans, and I just cut it into an egg shape. Kind of folded it back using a ruler because I'm trying to make it look like it's galvanized. So now I'm going to take some metallic gray and some uh, elephant gray paint and just try to tone down the shininess. So I'm going to be taking this Dollar Tree. It's like a liner for the baskets for like summertime. <laughs> I didn't have any paper or craft paper that, you know, resembled this, so I'm going to use this. I'm just going to Mod Podge it down. Now I'm going to put the liner right over the Mod Podge, and I'm going to place some Mod Podge over the top as well and let it dry. I'm going to use my scissors to cut around the edges. I'm just going to place that tin piece down with my hot glue gun. And I use my Cricut as well. And I'm going to place down some vinyl that I created on my um, Cricut design space. And it's a chicken and one that says farm. I didn't have enough room to put farm fresh, or so I put eggs on top of the chicken. Not eggs, but the word eggs. <laughs> so I'm pushing the vinyl in between, uh, making sure that it's going in between those little lines that I created, and uh, making sure that it holds very well, because I'm using Dollar Tree vinyl, it's not very sticky. I'm just adding the design, the vinyl design to the top. Then I'm going to place the farm vinyl piece at the bottom. So I didn't use any transfer tape. I'm just going to actually pull the letters off and just place them down. I'm going to make a little bow. I'm going to use Dollar Tree ribbon 
and I'm just going to hot glue it right to the top. I also used a little bit of uh, jute twine in the back to um, use as a hanger. And this is how it turned out. All right, this DIY, I'm going to be using paint sticks. I believe I used 15 paint sticks. And I'm going to use these bamboo um, I got from, from Dollar Tree, the little rings. And I'm going to start off by painting everything with the elephant gray. I cut a piece of cardboard for the bottom of the base and I'll use it at the end. To put this together, I'm going to be using my hot glue gun. I'm going to start off with one paint stick inside the smaller circle and then I'm going to take the larger one and hot glue it to the same paint stick and I'm going to continue all the way around. I'm grabbing another paint stick because I need, um, I need it to be balanced so I'm going to do it on the opposite side. probably would be stronger if you used E6000 or super glue. The hot glue gun, I mean it held very well but in the long term I don't think it's going to be that strong. So now I'm taking the larger ring and I'm attaching it to the paint, two paint sticks and what I found as I was doing this is when you glue the paint sticks to the, the top ring because of the weight of it, it kind of like brings it down a little bit so as I was going around it was kind of like lopsided I had to take everything off again and restart and then that left with glue on the outside of the paint sticks yes that was really fun but I managed to get the glue off it would be helpful if you had two people helping you this way you can start it off and everything will be even I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch spacing between the paint sticks as I go around So here you can see where it was dipping to the left and I'm going to have to remove everything and start all over again. So lessons learned, you know, if you're going to do this, make sure you have somebody helping you to, you know, start off making sure everything is straight. So I'm continuing around with the paint sticks, just uh, taking my time with it, making sure everything's straight, level, and you know going around one direction this way you know everything is going to fit perfectly and in the end it does come out really pretty very nice you can use this for fall you can put apples in it you can put anything you want in it actually it's very rustic very farmhouse and I think it came out really amazing Like I said in the beginning, I used a little piece of cardboard and just traced the circle for the bottom base. And I will be hot gluing it at the end. I didn't want to do it while I was placing the paint sticks inside. A little bit of white Waverly chalk paint, just like dry brush it around and it came out really pretty and this is how it came out. Well that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Till next time guys, I will see you. Bye bye.